and welcome to this new video. In this video series, I'm going to introduce you the fantastic infrastructure called OpenRMF. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a structure to manage fleets of robots, so hundreds of them, of different kinds, with ROS, without ROS, through APIs, and in very complex environments, from a tiny room, to an office, to an airport, a hospital, everything. And it's open source, so it's a really good structure. Uh, I leave in the video description a course, a workshop that we are going to do in the, the near future. So if you're interested, click on the, um, in, on the link in the video description. So in this video, what we're going to talk about is a very critical aspect when you have a fleet of robots in a human environment. And that is doors. Doors are tricky to at least integrate in Gazebo, manage with ROS2, and also how to manage it in a fleet of robots. Who has the upper hand? Who has the priority? When do I know that the door is open or closed? How do I issue that command? All that is dealt, or at least it makes it much easier to integrate with existing systems and new systems with RMF. So let's go. So the first thing is having an idea of your environment. And the best way to have an idea of your environment is having a 3D model of some kind. In this case, I created a very simple environment in Blender that it's essentially a passage and a goal, a room that I want to go to. And I have these four different doors that I want to simulate. And the robot that we are going to use is our beloved BoxBot. And you say, okay, why do I need exactly a simulation, a, a 3D model? Because then what I do is I go to orthographic in Blender and I render an image. And with that rendered image, I use it as a blueprint. You could do this with your uh, factory or office if you had some kind of blueprints because RMF needs um, a reference, or at least it makes it much easier to work with if you have a reference. In this case, I rendered an image and I'll base my new map in, on that image. So here you can see the project. I leave in the video description the link to the project and you have all the files that we will use in this demo um, and tutorial, quick tutorial. Here uh, we just explain a bit the introduction and here I leave the link to the course if you're interested in knowing more about RMF because we are not going to explain all the details, just the crucial aspects of doors in RMF. And so let's have a look. The first thing is, okay, I have my Blender and I render this image. Then what I have to do is execute the traffic editor. Let's have a look, traffic editor. And in the traffic editor, what we have here is we, we generate a map. So in this case, I'll generate a, a dumb map test just to show you and here we can add a name of the level and an image so in this case i already have this image here around here and let me look passage there we go so it loads the image and based on this render which is in black and white i'll generate the full map that defines the walls, floors, lanes. I'm going to show you right now. Show you here. And if I go here, ah, there, there it was. There you go. And RMF, passive build. There you go. Let me just disconnect the graphs just so you see it better. Here, I defined everything the scale. Here you can see the scale of this, and this 
is five meters. And that's why it's very important to have the blender. And also we define the walls, as you can see around here. We also define the floor and also we define the doors. And we can uh, define four different kind of doors in, uh, in the traffic editor, which is more than enough to simulate any kind of doors really. And that's basically it. Once you have this defined, you then create these lanes, which are, uh, the visualization here is a bit dodgy because they're really big, but essentially we go from here to here, then here to straight line until this point, okay? And this, this file is, is the one that um, we will use to generate two things, the, the lane map, which is used by the RMF to do all the planning, and also the simulation, the world, with only this. Let's have a look. Once we have this, uh, we compile it, and it will generate for us a world file. Normally it's generated only in the build, but uh, I modified it so that it copies this world file into your package, in this case here. You can see that here it copies a world file and this is generated entirely with this RMF file, which is uh, around uh, here, you see, to the definition of the node and so on. Okay, with this and with some models that also are auto-generated, like the walls, for example, it generates an object, a 3D um, model. We then have to modify and fix some issues, some bugs. That's why I copied these file, this file to here, which is the Blogspot passage. And I won't go into details, but essentially for doors, there's a, there's a bug here um, for gazebo. So it doesn't work out of the box for gazebo. If you, we go to lib doors, you can see that by default, it generates a name that it's always the same, door. But what I did is copy the name of each of the doors in the traffic editor so that we have each instance of this plugin has a different name and therefore a different node. And that's how it works uh, and makes it work. That's essentially the basics. We had to do some modifications to the generation so that the doors are a bit smaller, the walls are a bit smaller also. Here, let's execute the file and have a look. You have the details in the notebook, so I think we can go here. Oh, sorry. I go to the simulation. It's actually very important that you source export the cyclone because uh, Humble, for some reason, RMF doesn't support correctly uh, the, the default DDS, the fast DDS for Humble. So you have to change to cyclone. There we go. So we have a simulation. Remember that this was generated with a file, with only the traffic editor file, nothing else. And you have this, and then we have our robot that we spawn it here, and is again enabled to use RMF. I won't go into details, but essentially you have to add a plugin that it's called slot car to make it this work. Once you have this, you have a passage with four doors and the final area, let's say. Once we have this, then I have here the commands to launch the RMF systems. RMF. Okay, good. If the, if the robot starts moving and also all the lanes appear, that's good. 
Sometimes RMF doesn't start at the beginning, so you just have to relaunch it again. And finally, we have this uh, web, which you can communicate with RMF using commands and scripts for sure, but this is a very intuitive way of sending requests. RMF allows you to do different kinds of requests, but in this case, we are just going to use loop, which is basically, hey, go from here to here. And here I'm going to say, okay, I want one robot that goes from start to go. Because there's only one robot, it will be assigned to this uh, particular robot. Uh, before I issue this, I think what I'll do is... Uh, there we go. I'll, I'll leave it. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah. Let's submit the request. Now it generates a path. It stays there, it stops until the door opens. It opens, in this case, we define a hinge door. Here, again, it stops. This is a double hinge door. And you can see that here, let's put it like that. There you go. You can see that it's waiting in the correct nodes until the door opens so fantastic again there you go and the final door remember that this that it seems so easy but this is using rmf fleet management messages to communicate with the doors and you can integrate this same system with iot's so that it can open real doors without changing a single line and that's basically it. Um, if you're interested in this topic, I'll leave in the video description and in the, um, the Rostject link that I showed you, the link to the web site where we are promoting this new workshop. So here, if you go to the notebook, you have the link to the course. So you can roll right now and you learn how to do this and much, much more to manage how different fleets interact, also how to create a, a more complex environment. Also, we will try to use also lifts. We will try to do a delivery. So get one, one cup and deliver it to uh, the other one. And also GUI interaction. So humans that interact with RMF. So these things are much more. So if you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and check out the link in the video description. So, see you in the workshop. Peace!